The drama starts already. <laughs> mm. Hey! He's such a beautiful man. people then so first and foremost you might see that I'm in some uh, different attire today <laughs> and I've got a little box over there on the bed today <laughs> that happens to be black white and red today <laughs> I was very um, fortunate to be part of a YouTube creator kind of kind of workshop event um, a few months ago back in like July, August time. And basically it was a bunch of creators from across the UK and it was like a, a two day kind of seminar uh, where we listened to people who were really, really successful and had already kind of clocked the game, clocked the YouTube game and were giving us tips on just how to, how do you grow a channel, how do you do YouTube, what to do in order to make the best of the space that you've got. It was a really awesome event. What blew my mind was the fact that people from across genders from across age groups from across ethnicities were all kind of doing youtube and doing completely different things it was just a real eye-opener for me and one of the things that we did at the end of the day was that we could break out into these little rooms and there were some really cool kind of prizes that could be won and uh, i was very fortunate enough to win one and not only was it a very nice, very good fitting jacket, good quality as well, I don't know, it feels really nice. It's actually got, I don't know if I can turn around here, you better see it, was big one. If you can see that, but it's also got my channel name on the back. I'm fully getting my squats in today. <laughs> How sick is that? Like, it's so cool. So honestly, I'm all kinds of just, I mean, I've seen YouTube anyway, but I'm just like, thank you so much. Like, I'm so, so grateful. And, like, even if I didn't feel like a YouTuber before, which, I mean, I did because you guys are amazing, have made me feel so welcome in this space. I really feel like a YouTuber today. And even though that box is not empty, <laughs> I'm going to let it sit there for a little piece. So, thank you, YouTube. Anyway. So this is for my Dimash fans out there. So I put a poll up a couple of weeks ago because I really wanted to watch my first concert. And I've got to explain, by the way, this, there's been a bit of delay because I've had some real technical issues with my equipment. This is what happens, people, when everything you do is on your phone. <laughs> so over the next couple of months, I will be investing in a new laptop and a new camera and also... Um, some new software because I'm about to tear my hair out because it, it's honestly it's anyway anyway you don't need to worry about that I can worry about that so yeah so that's there's been a delay there but what I did say I was going to do was I really wanted to do my first uh, concert and the poll overwhelmingly was in favor of Dimash in came a very close second with Gabrielle and third place was Maury and I know that Janet came in fourth, but just because she came in fourth doesn't mean that I'm not going to do her. I will. So if you are a Janet fan out there, because uh, I'm a Janet fan as well, and I, I really want to watch her too. <laughs> and then my next question was, okay, now Dimash has won, which concert do I watch? Because there are so many, I don't know where to start. And it was a comment from Shirley Melvin, and I just like how she broke it down, because everyone quite clearly has got their own favourite Dimash concerts, whether it's New York, whether it's his first one in London. But I really liked this. Should you decide to do the Bastille concert, you'll find that Dimash Info Station, so big up Dimash Info Station, broke it up into seven videos with English uh, subtitles that would probably be the best bet to get the whole concert. A big thank you to both Shirley and also to Dimash Info Station for making this available for us to watch. You also said, I think everyone would enjoy this with you since it was his first large concert after coming home from the singer show in China. So I mean, that to me makes sense because I still haven't watched all the performances from the singer uh, show, which I did, which I did want to watch before this, but 
kind of want to see what he can put together uh, within a concert fashion and just be blown away. So that's what I intend to do. So, of course, this is a reaction. So I will be commenting. Like, so if, um, if that isn't your bag, you might want to pick off now because I do talk. <laughs> um, but I'm really excited about watching it. So let's get into it and see what it is saying. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay. The drama starts already. <laughs> mm. Hey! I love the fact that it's like pretty packed out already and it's the first concert he ever had. Wow! I love people that like love where they're from. I've never heard any song from Kazakhstan before. Well, I'm saluting. I am saluting. Wow. Loving the stadium. I heard that. I best get ready, there's gonna be a lot of this in there. <laughs>
What an opener! Wow! Wow! Is that his signature as well with like the treble clef and stuff? Yeah, man. He's such a beautiful man. Okay. I don't. But just as well. This is like the most pop song I think I've ever heard him sing. Be a girl sits there! Be a girl sits there! just pause that there because I'm conscious I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna upload this because I just don't want to cut across him or talk over him while he's singing hopefully Dimash info station is open to people reacting to Dimash I'm hoping so fingers crossed but I'm gonna try and pause it where I can the first song I thought was amazing like I thought that came out bearing in mind I'd, I've never heard any kind of music come out of Kazakhstan ever but what I love about it is that like it was so it was so joyful and so much full of pride for his home and his and where he comes from like that to me was quite special and I loved the kind of golden eagle and I loved the all the golden bird anyway and love what he was saying about you know how, how how could I not spread my wings and that's what we're like from Kazakhstan we're warriors and you know for, again when you're when you when you're kind of enveloped in your own world kind of thing you don't really necessarily know too much about 
of the nations and it's nice to kind of just get a little a, li a very little taste and a very little flavour uh, as to uh, you know what kind of tunes are uh, like you know hail from that part of the world and so that was quite cool and I'm loving how this, the kind of staging is set up I'm loving all the I mean the, the screenshot I'm on at the moment with all that yellow light like I just it's wow and to think this is his first concert after the singer this is pretty impressive so far that second song uh, which I think was called Hello I mean I I, I don't think I've ever heard him sing anything that poppy and then the last song I heard was The Show Must Go On, which was more of a rocky tune. Aside from that, I don't think I've ever heard anything with this kind of tempo, which could be something that's in, I mean, I don't, I mean, this kind of pop isn't really like my bag. And so, you know, I wouldn't necessarily be like, oh, let me find a, a radio station that's got this on or anything like that. It's not necessarily my cup of tea. But what I like about this actually is I can hear his, I can hear his tone, which I've said I've said for the longest time, um, is a operatic, very emotional, quite melancholic type of singing and em very emotive, very very emotive. I haven't heard him. I haven't heard that tone that he has against a backdrop of a, of quite a secular song like this. Like this is something that I could hear like I don't know, like a David Guetta playing or something like that. That kind of that kind of beat. Do you know what I mean? That kind of pop beat. So yeah, it's great. So anyway, let me stop talking. Let's hear what the uh, what the next bit's bit. What the next bit's bit. Yeah, I'm drinking juice today. I'll save the wine to the later. <laughs> We're doing good, sir. Bugün <gülüyor> That's really sweet. concert concert Ah. He does seem like such a good soul, man. He really wants everyone to enjoy with him, doesn't he? My star. Go on! Look at footwork! Hey, hey, hey! Mmm, mmm! Sing for title, son! Sing for shop, not so! Should you get this? Get in there, I love! Show the side right now! Look at the shot of the Oi! 
So, part one's done, uh, part one's done, part one's down, part one down, part one's done. That last one, I, I know a lot of people have said in comments that have gone by before that like, uh, he loves he loves MJ and I think he's got some inspiration from MJ. I think you can see that very much in that performance. From the choreography, from the people and the falling and the coming back into sync and the... <laughs> I expected to go, come on! <laughs> That was actually really, really good. And I like the fact that um, I've really seen him do some like proper like choreography. And, and you can, and you, but you can feel that uh, that MJ inspiration. And I love the, the little, little wiggle that he's got going on there. Little wiggle. Uh, uh. <laughs> yeah, love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay. Part two. Who will she be? This staging is just something else.
Wow. So I kind of don't want to like um, pause it too much because obviously I'm conscious that people want to will want to watch along with it and stuff. But um, I mean I have to because that was just amazing. That was such. A, I felt like I was, you know, those like, little snow globes that you can get, and you can see like the little things that are glued to the bottom, whether it's the trees or the the little un ornaments or whatever. I felt like I was inside one of those, like a little bit like a like a like a water featured kaleidoscope. Like I love the fact that the, the staging has got um, a, a, an allowance for a water feature as well as this huge kind of. Um, and an arch of light which means that you can just infuse loads and loads of lights at, like, at our faces as well as having like images displayed ag against that backdrop because that was like galaxies and universes and stars and, and then you've got her within that hoop just spinning around and doing all that elegant stuff and then his elegant uh, vocals on top of that um, that was a really really awesome awesome performance I really really enjoyed that um, okay cool let's see what's next Thank you, sir. Song more than you can up there. Kazakhstan digging in the Tota Tamasha and there is one. Oh, Pancho does for a beautiful, beautiful. Sit and cool with the other. Put it together. Okay. As long as you show, sir. Unforgettable day. His voice is so beautiful.
Palm tree should be. Wow. Wow. I thought I was going to try and do like one every two songs, oh, but I, I just, I, I cannot not, I cannot not comment on that. Like, <clears throat> I, I, at first I was like, oh, maybe this is one of the songs I have heard, but then I didn't know what the subtitles were for it, so that's the reason why I, I, I didn't recognise it. Uh, but I haven't heard that song before. Um, I liked, at first when they were moving him on the, on the podium thing, I was a bit like, we can see you guys. <laughs> we can see you. Um, but actually, like again, it was just very dramatic, and you know the fact that like they met in the middle, and then there was a whole bit where she kind of fell off and fell backwards, and like he was just doing this with the microphone, and it was that was a really epic song, and there's and like there are bits in it where, as you already know, like he'll use like the softer parts of his voice, and all of a sudden this train, this train like juggernaut train worth of vocal will just come charging through and charging out and it's just like wow it just hits you and you just again just mesmerized by this guy who's just so humble um and gets so powerful and then you zoom out and then you see all that lighting and like that um the kind of thing you see on like those heart monitors and those things in the hospital and stuff and um, with all the colours and the purple and the reds and, and it's just so big and the expanse of it this is brilliant this is absolutely brilliant thank you thank you sir I love the fact that you keep calling us all honourable guests as well Со зете Бармша. Бер Майкл Джексон концерт не отрывал там. Шунгал отрывал шагай. Кесипа. Окей. Уйди на мед. Окей, she best give me something Michael Jackson worthy. What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? Wonderful memories. Yeah. Hey, oh, he's got a little.
A little spin there as well at the end, okay, alright, okay. Okay, so that will take us to part three. So, um, okay, if I'm honest, I didn't really love that one as much. I mean, I'm, I mean, his voice still sounds like Dimash level great, but um, the tune wasn't really... Um, Mm, I wasn't really feeling that one as much. Um, I don't know if that's one is a favourite one for other people, so sorry. Um, but you know, it's sort of this thing. Like I loved the the, the the girls coming on with their little skirts and stuff and whatever. But yeah, I wasn't really feeling that one. Mm, wasn't really my best. But okay, cool. We've got part three. I'm gonna pop to the toilet. So I shall be back uh, for, uh, for for part three. Bear with me. <laughs> 